Hi guys, it's Fusion Feather Studios and I am filming my Briarfest haul or loot video. Um, I, my special runs just came in last night and so I was finally able to unwrap them and flip them over and I wanted to do my annual video of showing everybody what I got. And so I'm going to be starting with my celebration horse and uh, let's do that. Um, this is Ballino Castle RM or Reggie. I actually ended up getting four of these guys, but I don't need four. So the other three are getting customized. This one has the nicest shading. It's real dark and he's, it's kind of hard to tell in this light, but he's really like shiny, like not semi-glossy even, but he's just shiny. It's just cool. <laughs> but I like this one the best. He has really nice shading on his shoulder right there, but I mean, I'm not the hugest fan of this mold or this horse, but he's pretty. I do like him. Um, and then next up we have my, I did get a four pack of stable mates, but I only kept three. And so for the first one, this is Sky. Sky is on the Charleston mold. It's the new stable mate mold, but um, it's a, it's like a chalk, not chocolate. I don't really know what the color is called, like silver black or silver bay. I don't really know, but very glossy, very pretty. The shading's really nice. My camera's not really picking it up, but this one was my favorite. So I bought the four pack, so I would be guaranteed to get uh, this guy because he. I just really, really like that one. I like the mold and I like the color on it. But then we have Orkney, and I really did not like Orkney, but he wasn't selling, and so he came in, and he's actually. Like got glitter. He's like real like gold in there if you can see. Oh, he's very very cool. He's very interesting in person and so I opened him up and I'm like uh-huh he's kind of cool. So he's gonna stick around for a little bit just because he's he really exceeded my expectations for him. And then we have Aaron I think is how it's pronounced. Sorry about the lighting. My shadow. Hello. <laughs> but um this is the Roan Croy uh, Vampsha miniaturized into a stable mate. She is roan, but mine's like really, really like not super light. Like she's kind of dark. Her speckles are really sparse and so she's not super, super roan, but I kind of like that about her. She's just different. And she does have some like overspray. You can see like a lot of the speckles made it into her tail, but that'll be an easy fix. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really impressed with them scaling these down and still keeping all their detail like I mean the eyes are kind of spooky <laughs> but um she's still really really cool and I'm, I'm really impressed and I really want to get the mini uh, bramble on the mini croy and then uh for the store specials oh my goodness I don't even want to talk about how difficult it was to get this darn horse <laughs> but um I got up right at uh I think 8 30 so I would be awake and I had breakfast and everything in time for the 9 a.m launch <laughs> of Briarfest and so 9 a.m rolled around and we all know that there was a glitch and no one could buy or add anything to their cart without going through the login oh lord I don't even want to talk about the login issue <laughs> but um I uh, like two hours later I was finally able to get a, a matte cheesecake um, during one of the restocks and I'm just really happy I was able to get this horse. Look at this bit of shading right here. There we go. Um, he's very, very light uh, Cremello. You can kind of see his patches right there and he's really nice. Like a color like this you would really be able to see all the flaws and he just doesn't have any. So I'm really impressed with him and uh, I ended up with the long hair, or not long hair, but uh, the loose hair. Oh, I got a dog hair on her neck, don't worry about that. <laughs> but um, I really, really like this horse. The shading on her face, just like where it's real dark in the corner there, and just kind of dark, and then really light in the pits. And uh, she has really soft dapples, like she has dapples. I've seen a few of them that don't really have many dapples, but so I'm really happy that mine does have some. You can see them kind of throughout her there. Yeah, but she's like this really pretty like gunmetal gray and I just really like her. I like her a lot more in person than the promo photos 
she was one of my top favorites. She was my second favorite that I wanted to get, and so I was really happy that I was picked for her. But, and I am happy that I ended up with the, the loose hair version because, I don't know, I just prefer the loose mane versions of everything. Like with Diana last year, that's the, I wanted the loose mane version. And then we have Mr. Oak. I know Oak was kind of the horse to get for Briar this weekend. So I was really, really excited to pick him up. My mom really, really liked this guy. And after she said that and just looking at more pictures, especially the pictures in hand that they showed during the weekend, I was just like, man, I really want this horse. And so I'm really, really happy I was picked for him. He's really large. Like, um, I don't really know what to compare him to, but he's a lot bigger and taller than I thought. Um, this is my first one on the mold. I don't have George, or I did, but I pre-sold him, so I never got to see him in person. But, so this is my first on the George mold, and I just, he's really cute. Like, look at his face. He says hello. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm really excited to have Mr. Oak here. Um... And then this was the horse I wanted the most out of all the special runs. This is Lou, I think is how it's pronounced. But he's on the sham mold. He's the glossy bay Arabian with the the gray tail or the white tail, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm, I was a little disappointed just because look at his tail right here. They really missed the actual like tail. You can kind of see the molding where they just really sloppily, especially right here. Yeah. Right there, we got that funky thing going on. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not horrible. Um, I can probably fix the tail a little bit. Like, I'm gonna try. Okay, now I'm going to be getting into my Clarion purchases, and what I mean by that is just, these are the horses that I, uh, wanted, I was planning on buying them at the Clarion, but obviously with Briarfest being moved to virtual, we couldn't go to the Clarion, and so I did a little scavenger hunt for all the models I was having, or I had made on my list to find at the Clarion, and so first up we have the Palomino Hamilton from the 70th anniversary set. I really, really wanted this horse, and he's really pretty. I got him in a trade for a commission. His dapples are really light and not fish scaly, and he's, like, really, like, iridescent. It's really cool, but, um, oh my goodness, people are asking so much for this horse, and I was like, I'm stubborn, and I'm not paying that, <laughs> so I was able to get a trade worked out, and I'm really happy about that. This guy is in super, super nice condition. He's just a lot nicer than I thought he was going to be, and so I'm really really happy about it that I was finally able to get him and not have to pay like $175 for him. So that's a win in my book. And then along with him, I did also get the chase piece from the 70th anniversary models. I got the Pinto Smarty Jones. You can see he has his little 70th stamp right there. This is his other side. Um, same with this guy. People are asking like $200, like 200 plus for him. And I just really didn't want to pay that and so I also had a trade set up for a commission for this guy and I definitely like the Palomino Hamilton more than this guy but I really really do like him and he's in really nice condition so he might hit some shows and uh yeah I'm just really happy I was able to score one and not have to pay an arm and a leg for him <laughs> and then this is probably my favorite uh Clarion purchase, but this is Bats in the Belfry. He was the Halloween model in the early 2000s. I don't exactly remember the year he's from, but he has like this really cool blue iridescent uh, paint on his, on the top half of him. You can kind of see it like on the back, but on the head. And then it fades into this really pretty reddish orange into yellow. And he has little bats all over him. And he's in really, really nice shape. I actually got him new in box. The lady was nice enough to ship him in his box for me, but he has been set free. <laughs> and uh, yeah, really, really, really like this horse. I've been after him for a while, so it's really nice to get to 
add him to my collection for this year. That was just really crazy. <laughs> um, and then we're going to be getting into my Peter Stones that I got for the Clarion. And uh, this is Icicle. Icicle was a, I believe, a 2018 December like Christmas warehouse special, whatever they call that event. It's in December, but uh, she is on the uh, Arabian full mold and she has resculpted antlers. You can see them, they're really pointy, they're really fragile. And uh, that's the only reindeer part she has. She still has her normal tail and she's glossy with little cute blue eyes. I don't remember, I think there's 50 of her, I don't remember, but some of you may know in my uh, collection tour video, I do have Sven, which is a, uh, he's on the Santa Fe Morgan mold. He's a reindeer uh, stone model. And so I really, really love their stone models. And so I was like, I really would like to get Icicle someday. And I was really lucky to find her on eBay for a pretty good deal. And so, yeah, she came to live with me. She's part of the haul and I really, really enjoy her. She's super cute. She's really unique. She goes along with my conga really nicely. And then lastly, for my clarion purchases, we have Inniswood. Inniswood is a factory custom on the thoroughbred mold. He is high gloss with really, really pretty dapples. You can see them in like his really pretty tail and the mane. And then I also cannot forget the cutest little Mackenzie. This is the plush from this year with his little, uh, his little scarf that says Celtic fling on it in gold, which is super, super cute. And we also have his little hat. He's adorable and I, they are numbered. I actually haven't looked yet. He, okay, so he's number 459 out of 1,000. Okay, so I was able to get four surprise horses and I ended up with two Palominos and two uh, silver blacks. I believe that's the correct color. I know people are debating on what this color is called, but I'm just gonna call it, just call it the dark one. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got two of this one. And uh, just to say uh, one of these guys and then one of the Palominos is already spoken for. I'm not sure I'll keep my other one of this color, but I think I'm going to be keeping my other Palomino. And um, I do really like this color, I just don't, I was really hoping for a glossy, but that's okay. But they do have really, really nice dapples, they're subtle, they're really pretty shading on their face. The eyes are really nicely painted, which I was really happy about. And you see, you can see like on her barrel, the, you know, that's 2020, and they're really pretty silver like almost pearly tail. So that's that color. And then we have the Palomino, who actually, to my surprise, is chalky. So you can kind of see, or it's kind of hard to tell without it being a person, but you can tell it's not like their normal plastic white. It's like painted chalky. They're really, really nice. The Palomino actually really impressed me. Like the Palomino is really, really nicely shaded. You can see the really pretty shading around the eye. It just reminds me of my horse, Dixie, who passed away uh, last year. And so I think I'm gonna hold on to my other Palomino just for a little while to really decide if I really, really like her. But she does have little belly spots and her little high socks in the back. She's really, really pretty. I really hope that everybody was able to have an enjoyable Briarfest even though everything was so different this year and I'm really hoping people that haven't been able to go were able to enjoy their very first Briarfest because it's one of it's like my favorite thing out of the whole year I look forward to it all year I'm already looking forward to next year I'm really excited for next year's theme and I'm just hoping that even through all the glitches and all the frustration and just uh, just the crazy year that it's been I really hope everybody was able to get what they want and just had a good experience. I, yeah, I mean, it turned out well for me in the end. Like I was, I definitely had my fair share of frustrations during the weekend, but it turned out, it turned out good. I'm grateful for what I have. And I hope everybody else out there is happy with what they got as well. So I thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.